Daily Life of a Noble During the Italian Renaissance by Bethany Davis. The Italian Renaissance was such a unique period because it consisted of the humanist movement that brought us out of the Dark Ages. These new ideas correlated with other subjects such as the arts, music, and fashion. Today, we are going to specifically look at the hierarchical society that existed during the Italian Renaissance. First, I am going to explain the fashion, diet, and social roles of the noble class. Fashion. Fashion was a very important part of the nobles' daily life because it was expected of them to follow the new trends set around the world and use fashion as a political statement. Italian nobles were well versed with the fashion around the world, so most modeled what they wore from trends from other places such as France, Germany, Spain, and Turkey. On a day to day basis, the men wore dark colors as a sign of dignity. Young men dressed in tights that were fastened by a quilted doublet covering the torso, and an undershirt called a camicia under the doublet. In the 14th and 15th centuries, the men covered up with tunics made with fine fabric. Older men wore belted or unbelted robes with cloaks. The women at court had a lot of variety with their daily life outfits. Each woman wore a knee or ankle length white camicia, along with one or two layers of gowns depending on wealth. Fabric covered shoes were then placed over silk stockings, and a cloak was added over the whole outfit. The women also played around with different hairstyles, such as the classic horn style. And wore many accessories, which included gloves made out of soft leather, silk, linen, or fish skin, along with handkerchiefs, fans, silk purses, or belts. Diet. Now, I am going to explain the diet of the nobles. Like most things, diets were also different between the social classes during the Italian Renaissance. Foods including fresh meat, spices, fruits, and olive oil were obtained by the nobility. Meat was divided into two categories wild meat, consisting of boar, deer, hare, porcupine, and hedgehog, and domesticated meat, consisting of beef, pork, mutton, goat, and rabbit. Altogether, meat was usually a sign of wealth and mainly reserved for the wealthy. Different spice blends were also considered to be for the wealthy because blending spices required cooks or apothecaries with the knowledge of the four step hotness grading scale. There were sweet blends involving bay leaf, cinnamon flowers, ginger, and one quarter part cloves, and strong blends involving one eighth part cloves, pepper, nutmeg, and black pepper. Nobility also had very hot spices such as spikenard, lung pepper, and mace. Fruits were a luxury as well, so it was mostly offered to the wealthy class. Fruits in Florence consisted of figs, peaches, plums, cherries, apples, pears, pomegranates, and grapes. Due to the magnitude of grapes, most people drank wine with their meals. The nobility's food was cooked different than other social classes because there were more resources to be used. For example, most of the meats were cooked in olive oil, and the bread was made of wheat, making the bread soft and white. Social roles. Lastly, we are going to look at the social roles of the noble class. The social class plays a very important role when looking at social roles and jobs. The social class determined what kind of resources one had. Therefore, the nobility would have access to estates and powerful people. Nobles would also have more leisure time to focus on the arts and music. Noblemen often managed their properties with the help of their hired managers. So, they mainly watched over those running their property and made sure everything was done the way they wanted it. This allowed the nobility to maintain a dominant position. 
Many nobles also knew many powerful people that could help supply them positions such as governing, advising royalty, and leading militaries. This was considered work for the nobles because they were raised to perform these types of duties rather than actual physical labor. Nobles did not have to worry about financial issues, therefore they had plenty of leisure time to enjoy reading works, painting, listening, or learning to make music. For example, Lorenzo de Medici enjoyed commissioning major works and employed many artists, including Botticelli. Lorenzo de Medici was a statesperson and a well-known patron for Renaissance works. So, let's recap what daily life looked like for the nobles during the Italian Renaissance. The nobles mainly wore dark colors and many of the styles were brought in from trends set in other countries. Their diets were flavorful and diverse, including fresh meats, fruits, and spices. Lastly, their social roles consisted of managing property, governing, advising royalty, leading militaries, and commissioning major works created during the Italian Renaissance. In the next video, I will be discussing the daily life of merchants and tradesmen during the Italian Renaissance. So, click on the link if you want to learn about the differences in each social class and witness how each role came together to make a society. And don't forget, like and subscribe.